Hey friends, it's Missy again. Thanks so much for stopping in today. I have a new layout and video to share for Mixed Media Monday up at Hip Kit Club. And I'm going to be using the 2020 February kits today. This is my first layout using the new February kits and they're so, so pretty. And I'm going to use a cut file for today. This is one that has been up as a freebie for this month. The Love is Magic cut file. And I pulled out some papers to use with it, as well as this really pretty packaging that came in the Vicki Booten stencils in the color kit. It's just too pretty to not use as a pattern paper. So what I'm going to do is <laughs> whip out a subway napkin here. I haven't used my subway napkins <laughs> in a long time, um, but I'm using it as a little mat here. And I'm going to lighten this up just a hair with some white gesso here and I just wanted it to have a little bit of of a worn distressed look to it and so I'm just using my finger to smudge some white gesso over it and this is just going to lighten it up a little bit and give it a little bit of interest and texture. So what I think I'm going to do is find five papers to well I thought about backing the cut file. Um, I changed my mind and I'm going to kind of do what I did last week with those hearts, but just slightly different. Um, instead of backing the cut file, I'm going to trace all the letters, cut the papers out, and then I'm going to put the letters flat onto my background and then pop the cut file up on top of it and it just gives it a different look you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute my paper or my my paper my layout from last week I placed the cut file flat and then popped up the hearts on top of it this is kind of the opposite of that but it still gives a really cool dimensional effect. So I thought I might do a rainbow color scheme here since there are plenty of papers and things that have all the rainbow colors on them. And so that's all I'm doing here is picking out the spots on each paper, tracing the letter, and then cutting it out. And there we go. I've got all five colors, five papers cut. And I'm going to use these two cute black and white selfies of me and my daughter. And I'm going to arrange those somehow up above the cut file. And I just decided to go with white as my background since I've got so much color going on. And I'm going to add a lot more color. Um, I couldn't decide on a, a colored cardstock or a patterned paper that would um, not overpower all those colors. So we're just going to go with white. And I'm using some clear gesso here on this background. And then I'm going to use this beautiful Lindy's Magical Powder that we get in the color kit. Look how gorgeous this pink is. It's called Raspberry Lemonade. And yeah, it's gorgeous. When you activate the powders with water, it instantly gives you this really bold, bright pink. And I love this pink. It's so, so pretty. So what I thought I would do is kind of just create a nice big pink area on the background and then place the photos and the cut file on top of it and this layout is going to be pretty pink heavy but there's also lots of other colors going on so this is just a technique i find myself doing a lot lately just adding the color adding some water using my brush to spread it and then just tilting the paper all different ways to just let it run and spread and blend now, in the embellishments, we get a lot of Paige Evans stickers and die cuts and things, and there's a little bit of a deeper pink shade in some of those flowers. And so I thought that I would add just a little bit of a red to this pink, just to change up some areas of the pink. And this is a Lindy's Magical Shaker that we got, I don't even know how long ago, but it's called Oom Pa Pa Pink. And it's got some red tints to it. And so I just sprinkled a little bit of that in. And I'm just going to mix the Oom Pa Pa Pink with the Raspberry Lemonade. And I'm going to have some, um, some of the Raspberry Lemonade color and then some of this reddish color just in different areas. And I'm just going to keep working on it. Um, if you've gotten the color kits over the last year or so, then you've probably accumulated quite a bit of the Lindy's products. And... I love to keep them all within reach because they're fun to mix and match from month to month. 
they there's definitely a way to get any color that you want by mixing and matching because we've gotten so many pinks and reds and yellows and greens and blues and purples even some golds and yeah you can kind of see there kind of a little bit of the shimmer going on when I tilt the paper so this is kind of what I'm thinking of I'm still gonna work on the background a little bit more but I like that the cup file is lighter than the background so you can read it and it's just going to pop off the page so i wanted to experiment a little bit with this nouveau paste i've never used this style of um, nouveau paste before and we get this in the color kit along with these vicky Booten stencils now this stuff is really cool it's really creamy it smooths on you know um, i'm using a palette knife here i'm just scraping it right over the stencil and it works so beautifully now this stuff is really shimmery and shiny and I found that it smudges really well and I'm even going to use my brush with a little bit of water and it just sort of waters down really nicely and you can kind of treat it as watercolor. So I thought that I would just jazz up this big pink area with some of this Nouveau paste and just add some interest to the background here. It's a really soft, uh, more on the light purpley pink side <laughs> for lack of a better term the name of this color is is there a name i don't see a name it's actually called nouveau embellishment mousse i'll give you the correct name i'm holding it in my hand now but yeah it's a really pretty color and you can just see how it contrasts with the lindy's on the background so i'm just kind of making some areas with this really cool stencil and you can kind of see there see how shiny it is it's really really cool you can kind of see where i smudged it and i just wanted this to look kind of abstract and messy with just a little bit of texture on the background and you know in the end as always some of it's going to get covered up because that's just the nature of what happens when you put things back on top of it but you're going to be able to see all this interest and texture you know around and through everything so here's what I'm going to do this time. I'm going to pop up the actual cut file. So this takes some time, but I'm just going to trim off some very, very thin pieces of foam and very carefully back this entire cut file. So it's going to pop right up off the page. And that's what it looks like when it's done. So now it's got some dimension and it's going to create some fun shadow effects. So now to make sure I'm going to get the pattern papers just so I'm going to kind of wedge those back inside the shape of the cut file and then glue those down so the letters are going to be completely flat but then the cut file is going to be raised up and it's going to create some really fun dimension and texture and I just think it's a different way to use a cut file um, you know it just takes some patience to add some adhesive foam behind it but the effect is really neat because you get some uh some shadowing and it just makes it look more 3d which i love okay so i can move the cut file now the letters are going to go just right there and then i can start to work on everything else now i wanted to add a little bit more of that deeper reddish pink tone in in a couple places so i'm going back to that um pa pa pink and you can kind of see the difference there between that color and the uh, raspberry lemonade the raspberry lemonade is more of what i would call a genuine hot pink it's very bright very hot pink color so yeah it's fun to mix and match all these shades together all right so now i'm going to work on layering and i'm going to start with some white tissue paper from my stash just to give a little something behind the photos there and let me just say the lighting in this video goes bright and dim bright and dim I tried to fix it as best I could but it was extremely weird lighting when I was making this this weekend with the sun and the clouds and everything so hopefully you can see the colors okay I decided to do some stitching I let everything dry and I just went back and forth with my sewing machine with some white thread just to create some more texture um, sewing is a great way or stitching of any kind is a great way to add instant texture and interest anywhere on your layout so now the cut file is ready to be glued down and you can see the stitching there on the letters i think that looks cool and different so i'm going to kind of place the photos up top above the cut file in sort of a, a crooked angle 
I'm going to pop those up as well. And I've, I've said this plenty of times, but the fun thing about using a big cut file like this, especially this particular one, is it gives you the perfect place to put your photos. I mean, you could use one big photo, you could use a photo strip of three or four small ones. These two photos are about three by four ish. And so, yeah, it just kind of gives you an automatic place to put your photos. And so I think that helps the layout come together quicker as far as the actual big design of it. Uh, all I'm doing now is working on embellishing. And so I'm going to use some stickers and some flowers and some die cuts and things from the Bloom Street collection from Paige Evans. All I did with those two floral clusters, those were stickers. I just wanted to use those as die cuts. So I stuck those to some cardstock and then fussy cut those out. And I'm trying to make sure I get all of those rainbow colors kind of scattered all over the layout. And I am going to wind up overlapping some things on top of the words, but you can still read what it says. But I wanted something right there in the corner between love is and the, where the two photos meet up there. Um, all I'm doing here is trimming off some of the white border on that floral or that leaf die cut. And um, yeah, I just kind of sorted through things. Uh, you can see how many different beautiful colors are in those flowers. I mean, it's perfect for a rainbow color scheme. Uh, so many flowers, so many beautiful springy colors. Everything matches so, so well. We also get lots of the Pink Fresh Studio, My Favorite Story collection, as well as a couple of Heidi Swap papers, I believe. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to work on trying things out in different places here and there and seeing what looks good where. Uh, I am going to trim off more of the white border. I wanted to use this pink bird over here on top of the L. I thought that was the perfect spot for the bird because he's facing the right and it looks like he's looking at the photos. And I'm going to bring in some more pops of color with some different colors of thread. I mixed in the darker blue and then that more of a turquoise blue color together in that thread to put underneath the L and the bird to bring some of that color over to that side of the page. And then I'm going to start to glue things down. I've got a lot of things already on here and nothing except the cut file is glued down yet. So I'm going to start to work on that. You can kind of see how I scattered yellow around the page. I've got the yellow in the G and then in that cut, or not cut file, the die cut over on the M right there that I'm gluing down. And then that little flower on top of the two photos up at the top. So I'm trying to scatter all the colors around and kind of even them out here and there as best I can. The leaves are a little bit different because leaves are green and, you know, the green is pretty much going to be right there. But I do add... A green camera later on. So now we're going to go into some more thread. This is orange and I'm going to add a little bit of orange up at the top there since I only really have orange in the A. So I thought I would bring a little bit more of that color up at the top and then I'm going to use a couple of these Pink Fresh Studio epoxy dot stickers up at the top. One says love, and then the little tiny blue one says us. And then here is a puffy sticker green camera that I thought looked cute right there. And then I'm going to come back in with some of these Paige Evans stickers. Um, Paige Evans is the master of beautiful florals, and so Bloom Street is full of those. And I just love the colors in this Pink Fresh Studio collection. They kind of just work, these two collections work together really, really nicely. So I'm, I'm going to wind up taking this little cluster that I make here. I, I remove that. I was just kind of testing it out. I wanted to put something down there, but I didn't really dig those flowers. So I pulled those up and I almost forgot to add the dot above the eye in is. And then I'm going to pull in another pop of yellow over here underneath the picture underneath the the s and is just for a little pop of that color there and then this was too perfect not to use this is from the bloom street stickers it is perfect it's a rainbow chain of hearts and it's just look at it it's perfect i could not use it 
couldn't not use it because it's just the perfect color scheme. So that's going to go down there at the bottom. And I was trying to figure out something else to put down there on the letters. I've got a lot of things on the M and the A, so I needed to bring something over on top of the I and the C. So I'm just going to use a couple of flower stickers and then I'm going to pull in the hot pink once more down here with some more thread underneath that row of hearts. And I think this is my first time doing a cut file like this um, not using white cardstock to cut it. I tend to use white, but I just wanted to try something different and I like how the pink turned out. It's always fun to try something different and so I thought I would do that for this page. I'm getting close to being done here. Um, there's just so many pretty things. Even this, just the sticker book alone, there were so many things that I wanted to stick on this page. Um, I'm going to add a couple of little phrase stickers here. Uh, one from the sticker book from Bloom Street and then a couple from this Pink Fresh Studio sticker sheet. This is the phase of the layout where you just keep adding stuff and you think, okay, I should stop. <laughs> but you just don't want to stop because everything's perfect. But I, I don't want to cover up any more of the words. I mean, you know, you can still read what it says, but I don't want to cover up any more of it. I'm going to use some more of these Bloom Street stickers. These are silver foil, which is cool because usually we get gold. So um, one at the top says me and you, and then this one says I love you. And I'm going to place those on white areas. And then I'm going to add a little puffy leaf sticker over here to the left of the photo. And I think I'm finally going to stop adding things. Yep, I'm going to add my journaling. I'm just going to draw two lines. Of course, I have to be careful because I've already glued down my thread here. It's kind of hard to write on top of thread, so I kind of have to finagle it while I write my journaling. And I'm using a black fine tip Sharpie. But anyway, I added the date. That's the final layout. I love how this turned out. I know I say that. I sound like a broken record. But I really do. It was fun to make. I love all the rainbow colors. Uh, the February kits are just chock full of gorgeousness. Um, yeah, it was hard to pick and choose. That's why I just went with the cut file. It just kind of helps me get started because everything is so gorgeous. When you pull it all out in front of you, you don't know what to use first. You want to use all of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Here are all the close-ups. You can see how the background turned out. I definitely want to use that Nouveau paste, uh, Nouveau paste or mousse, keep saying paste, mousse again uh, in the near future because it was really, really cool. So I'm going to try to find a different way to use it next time. But um, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a great week and I will see you in my next video.